Welcome to the City of Anaheim's video series, Visualizing the Code. This video will go over the basic guidelines for fencing on single-family properties. Now let's imagine that a homeowner wants to construct a fence in their front yard and extend the height of a fence in a side and rear yard. Let's use this example to help us visualize the code. First, let's go over some key terms. The distance from the ultimate right-of-way, which is typically the inside of the sidewalk, to the imaginary line that delineates the front yard area is called the front setback. This dimension can range from 15 feet to 30 feet depending on the zone. In this scenario, let's assume it's the most common zone, the RS2 zone, which has a front yard setback of 25 feet. Within the front yard, you can have a fence that is no taller than 3 feet in height. It may be constructed of block, wrought iron, wood, or vinyl. Chain link fence is not a permitted fence type in the front yard. Now, if your fence design includes pilasters, they must be eight feet apart from one another with a maximum height of four feet, including light fixtures or decorative details. Note that the fence between the pilasters cannot be any taller than three feet, whether it's one material or a combination of two. In the side and rear yards, the maximum fence height is six feet when the home is next to another single family home or a local street. If the home is next to an arterial street, an alley, a school, a church, an apartment complex, or a commercial business, the fence height is permitted to be up to eight feet in height. So how do we measure the height of a fence? It is the vertical distance from the ground to the top of the fence. However, in some instances, the ground on either side of the fence is not the same level meaning that one side is higher or lower than the other. In these scenarios, we measure the height of the fence from the high side. If the permitted fence height is six feet and there is a two foot drop between properties, we measure the six foot height on the high side. On the low side, the wall will appear to be eight feet in height. In an effort to prevent graffiti, we also require that any fence that is next to a street or alley provide anti-graffiti landscaping. You can achieve this by either setting the wall in 18 inches from the property line to plant clinging vines or 30 inches in to plant a hedge. The alternative is to plant clinging vines on the inside portion of the wall and punch a hole every five feet at the bottom of the fence and feed the vines through the hole so they grow up on the street visible side. Note that both options require permanent irrigation and artificial vines are a permitted substitute. So you're probably asking yourself, do we need a permit? Any fence that is greater than seven feet must obtain a building permit and submit engineered drawings. For more information regarding the building code requirements, contact the building division. Now, fences under seven feet in height do not require a permit, but feel free to contact a planner to make sure your proposed fence meets the location, height, and graffiti prevention requirements. We hope this example helped you to visualize the code. Before you start your fencing project, call to speak with a planner or visit our website for additional information.